We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Shola Taylor who is advisor to the Minister of Communication Technology for Nigeria. Mr. Taylor, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference. It's a conference that uh, happens every four years. Mm -hmm. The major theme here is broadband for sustainable development. Mm -hmm. What opportunities does broadband development bring to the ICT sector? Well, uh, first of all, uh, what's important to recognize is that broadband and ICTs uh, should be seen by major governments and all the governments of the world as an engine of economic growth and sustainable development. Therefore, it's important for countries to use broadband to aid the economic work. Um, just last week, we uh, had the Minister of Communications from Nigeria mention how ICT is contributing to the GDP, 8%. Uh, I think ITU should encourage many countries to do that and to encourage ministers of other sectors also to appreciate the uh, importance of ICT in the overall development of their countries. And what challenges are you facing at present? Well, uh, the major challenge is one of universal access. Uh, currently, broadband is available in major cities of the world and particularly for the developing countries the, the issue is the rural areas, remote areas. Even in some cities, broadband access is a major issue. Mobile broadband has grown very well beyond the 7 billion population of the world, but internet has been very slow. It's quite important for uh, countries to look at this issue. Secondly, there's the issue of gender. There's still gender inequality in ICTs. The number of women who are involved in ICTs is not very encouraging and I said need to uh, face this challenge. Perhaps more importantly is the need to have uh, a broadband network secured, cyber security. Uh, this is rather important given the fact that uh, children, youths, are the major users of ICTs and it's quite important to address this uh, uh, particular uh, challenge. And this conference has been organized by ITU. What role do you think ITU should play in broadband development? Well, first of all, the ITU has done quite a good job uh, the Broadband Commission, which ITU uh, co-organized with UNESCO, has given us a number of recommendations. I think we need to take cue from there. Secondly, uh, many agencies of the UN are currently elaborating their post-2015 agenda following the MDG Swisses. ITU should now ensure that in the post-2015 development agenda, broadband is still key, and that's quite important. We also need to see how the aging population which was not addressed in the MDGs, how that should be addressed in the new um, uh, agenda. And this should also be linked to the ITU 2016-2019 financial and strategic plan. That's very important. There's one major outcome that comes from this conference. What would you like that to be? Well, I'd like to see uh, the ministers who have come to this conference go back home and start selling the, 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 the uh, message that, one, we need to see broadband as an engine of economic growth. Two, we need to encourage our youths to develop applications which are immediately relevant to their environments, promote local applications, promote the use of broadband at local level, amongst women in the rural areas, and for the overall growth of the economy. Mr. Shola Taylor, thank you very much indeed for your presence in the studio today and some very interesting answers there from you. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. And thank you for watching too.